What's going on guys, it's Tyler Austin with Lee and Ingba Videos and today we're going to be making a video for you. Uh, it's going to be the start Over of here, the uh, storyline series for Char. Um, if I can figure out how to bring up my uh, character info here. was the hotkey for that H. Should have thought about that. I'll show you what I got set up here. I made another video earlier for um, um, showing basically the start of the character, but uh, well, um, for some reason my video or sound didn't go through, so yeah. Anyway, um, if I didn't say so already, I appreciate the view. Um, Head over to EliteEnigmaBlog.com and uh, sign up for the newsletter and receive uh, updates whenever the new content is uploaded to the site. Also receive special promotion, 5% off, 10% off, uh, depending on what the week is. Um, that's out of my pocket. Um, if you head over to the store, you want to buy a new game or whatever, uh, head there um, and yeah, save yourself some money. Um, rather than just going straight to the site, go through me and you, you save yourself a few bucks. So, yeah, it's a good deal. Um, anyway, I'm Drake Bloodshed. That's my name. Um, what's awesome about Guild Wars 2 is you can have uh, last names, which is sweet, you know, because I love games that have last names. Um, so, um, though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with ferocity. I'm a soldier in the Blood Legion, and I or rather, and my warband is my family. I would die for them, especially Maverick. Maverick, uh, when you're... Well, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, Maverick is my spine partner. Uh, they tell me my sire is a loyal soldier. I plan to live up to his reputation, whatever it takes. I'm a ranger, and I have a devourer to fight at my side and guard my back. This is my story. You know, this is really awesome. This is one cool thing about Guild Wars 2, and... And uh, n not many other games offer this uh, uh, interaction. You know, it's very personal. You you make your story and you play your story. Um, and at first, I didn't realize that you actually have your own story. And, you know, everyone always said, hey, you know, you have your own story. You know, I was like, well, I'm not seeing it. You know, I I just went out and started questing, and I never never followed the uh, um, these here. Uh, if you see where I'm clicking here and blinking, I never followed those, and I'm very disappointed that I didn't on my previous characters. Um, but anyway. Um, so everything that you just read there is what, what you create whenever you create your character. You, you decide, you know, for a ranger, you decide a pet. Um, uh, I decided to be a loyal soldier. I decided to be, uh, Maverick was my sparring partner. Uh, I decided to be part of the Blood Legion, and um, my trait as a person is I'm, I'm very furious. So, um, I'm, but I might be furious, and I might, you know, be tough and go out there and get things done, but whatever I do uh, is for the, the better of everyone else. Um, so that's kind of my story. Um, so my next step is to report to um, to Sia, um, which she is right next to me. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and um, we'll see what she says. Just in time, soldier. Um, one big thing about the uh, the char is they're against for some reason you know, they're fighting against ghosts um, and that's you'll see that throughout the storyline that's pretty much what our whole storyline is based around at first is is defeating these ghosts figuring out how to get these damn ghosts out of here and then you got the blood legion um, and two other uh, legions that you're fighting against to uh, prove themselves you know and, and well you'll see that it's it's pretty cool I enjoy it. Alright, so I need to find your way to the front gate. I just realized this, <laughs> this actually isn't the storyline that I'm playing right now. Uh, this is the starter up area, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and play through this first, uh, and then after I finish this, we'll start the storyline quest. I need your help, soldier. Tribune Brimstone has ordered me to the crypt. Too torn up to make it. What's so important that the Blood Legion Tribune is there? The ghost of Duke Barrington is far more powerful than we thought. His army just broke through our defenses. Ritlock's about to fight him head on. 
If he succeeds, it'll be weeks before the ghost reforms, and we can rebuild our perimeter. On my way. Awesome, so we're gonna help this guy out by heading over here and... That's one cool thing, I, I know I just stopped mid-sentence, but uh, the game is very interactive. You know, you'll be walking around and all of a sudden, you know, some dude will start talking to you like, oh, save me. Oh, okay, you know, <laughs> I'll do that for you. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, got all these guys around here. I haven't ever played Hunter, you know, or Ranger, I'm sorry. Um, so, this will be kind of interesting. I, I've never actually... I'm just going to kill these guys real quick. That's one thing I try and do when I'm playing video games, especially MMO style games, is if you're running past something, just kill it, you know? That's what's going to make you level up, and that's what's going to help you a lot, is just by, you know, taking an extra few seconds to go ahead and kill a mob um, in your process, because, believe it or not, you know, those, those few mobs add up in experience, and think about how many you, you go past at a time. So we're heading down here into the crypts, and I'm joining up with uh, Rylock Brimstone's unit, and help him out, I guess. Uh, yeah, that dude just annihilated that guy. I didn't even have a chance. Um, oh, we got some ghosts down here. We gotta help out by killing them. The way the spells work in this game is uh, as you level up a weapon, um, you get um, out of the, f the five done and then you move on and you'll start using them um, unlocking these once you get traits and level up so on and so forth so it's kinda cool um... Man, there's a lot of dead bodies around here normally you're allowed to uh... revive them but it's not letting me revive those guys for some reason I guess. and i can tell you already that my storyline is different and the reason i know that is because before um... on my previous chart this whole place was infested, and, and um, it wasn't a quest to come down here. It was actually a, a point to be discovered. Um, so this is interesting uh, to actually see this because this is the first time it's actually the, the different storylines has affected me. Um, so it's really cool, actually. But we'll see. I'm gonna do this quest and go back. You can see. Um, we have uh, on our screen, it's it's all lit up in a circle, showing there's something going on. So someone can come down here and help me, help me with this, if they wanted to. And now we got the boss. Gonna annihilate. Throughout this, I'm kind of going to be familiarizing myself because I've never played a, a ranger before, so um, everything that you're going to be seeing is unedited. If I die, you're going to see it, um, and that's the cool thing about it. You know, I'm not going to be hiding anything, make myself look like a better player than I am. I'm just going to. Oh, it's going to happen. Whoa. By the way, I'm uh, using the GTX uh, 670, um, and it is the For the Win edition. I guess now we gotta kill this, uh, you know what, this is kinda getting familiar now, I think, I, maybe I did do this before, I don't know, I don't remember, I don't, I know at one point, like, I was just trying to get down here on one of my characters, and I just couldn't do it, so maybe it was in a different different uh, um, section that might have been uh, like around here somewhere I don't remember <clears throat> I'm trying to handle that ad so why he takes care of everything else I 
am helping you by killing you. Yes. Not who I'm supposed to be killing them, not, not they're just the deep, but... Yeah. It's kind of weird, I feel really weak being a ranger, I don't know why. My, my, my main is a guardian and I have an engineer as well, and I don't know, I just... Oh. Hey, we're heroes now. It's pretty awesome. We gotta report back, I guess, and to the plains of Ashford. Oh. I heard what you did down in that crypt, soldier. Thanks. Impressive. Tribune Brimstone was calling the shots. I just did my job. Don't sell yourself short. You were part of the team that took down Baradin and stopped the ghost assault. Smokestead is safe now, and you helped make it that way. People are still on edge, though. It'd help if they saw someone like you making the rounds, lending a hand. The quicker we get this place squared away, the sooner the Legions can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteers. But if I have to issue an order, I will. That won't be necessary, Legionnaire. I hereby volunteer. Nice. See, now we get the last stand of the South Sun. That's not, I don't think that's the, uh, I think that's a new uh, expansion or whatever that came out, though, not. So whenever you complete something, um, you get the shield and then you get to select whichever weapon you want. So which ones? One's an off hand and one's a new hatchet. Get a leather bag, so I'm gonna choose a hatchet. What's next? Bam. Level almost level three. Look at that. I'm like oh okay, I did level up, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my hero and see what I got here. I'm using the harpoon. If I double click the hatchet, it's gonna now equip it. So now I got two hatchets. It's pretty cool. Dull hatchet. <laughs> Alright. Look at my town clothes. It's pretty cool. Okay, anyway. Oh, how to change your dyes. It took me a minute <laughs> to figure this out. Um, you click the little toggle die mode and you can change your clothes of all your stuff again. Just a side note. See, that'll blink every now and then. Um, it just caught my attention. That's pretty cool too. Like, if you're just kind of sitting here not doing anything, it blinks and gets you back on track. Maybe I have to be level 10 in order to do all these quests for my actual story mode. Smokestead lies outside the Black Citadel on land we took back from the humans. It's our base of operations for further expansion into this region. We're pressing east and north, facing resistance from the Flame Legion and an infestation of Ascalonian ghosts. The Legions need every soldier to do his or her part. I will do that. As you travel, you'll encounter magical Asurin waypoints that you can use, for a small fee, to rapidly travel around the world. Finally, I'm confident you'll find many challenges that will test your metal and improve your skill. So those skill points that she's talking about, those are how you um, unlock your different traits down here at the bottom. Um, so, they're actually called skills, not traits, I'm sorry. These traits you don't unlock to level 11, but you get these skill points and you can use those to fill your slots here. Your first one's unlock at level 5. Um, and those are pretty cool. So you can kind of really form what kind of character you want to be and what kind of skills you put out there, especially for like uh, PvP and everything. Um, it helps a lot. So. Um, anyway, I guess the way I'm going to now form this, this, uh, this out to is, here's my ranger trainer, is I'm going to, where is the last sandstorm? See, it's not even on my map, so I'm not really sure what that's about. I'm going to go and discover this Vista real quick. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play the game like normal, and I'm just going to level this, this ranger up, and... Uh, I'm gonna keep producing videos as I go along. I'm trying to keep them kind of short. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Yep, I am. I'm trying to keep them short enough to where they're, you know, not too much of a struggle on YouTube and for you. 
So just stay tuned. There's probably going to be a crap ton. But um, until we reach the story mode, I don't know why I haven't reached the story mode yet. But I'm not 100% familiar with uh, with this game. So you can pick up like these bottles and stuff. And once you, <laughs> once you pick it up, you can use it for stuff. So I can like beat people with it. I don't know what the point of that is. I mean, it's whatever. It's kind of cool though that you can interact with your areas like that, you know. But anyway, um, that's it for this uh, video starting our series on uh, what was supposed to be our storyline, and this might be our storyline. I'm pretty. It is my. St see, it is. That's what I thought. But I was like, this is kind of weird because. Maybe at one point I might have stopped. I think I did. I think what I did on my other characters is I started off, you know, with it. And then I just stopped. And then I just started doing heart quests and stuff. They might have changed. They might have done an update and changed it, though. I'm not, on, like I said, I'm not really sure. But we're going to go with it. Um, so that's the beginning of uh, our storyline. And as you can see, we're kind of fighting some ghosts and helping other people out right now. Um... And that's what this game's about, helping out the community and building your character to be known as just that ultimate hero. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, uh, without further ado, um, that's usually an introduction statement, but it, I'm going to make it a closing statement. <laughs> um, so without further ado, I'm going to end this video. And uh, uh, please subscribe, uh, like, and head over to Elite Enigma Blog and register there, follow the blog trying to produce really good content for y'all I'm um, trying to get more writers um, and I am trying to give you good deals um, and quality gameplay um, if there's anything I could change whatsoever please tell me um, if it makes you want to come back for more I'd love to hear it so please in the comment box below let me know that just, just ran up to me and told me to come over here and tell these guys to stop fighting so I'm gonna see what I can do with that real quick before I like I don't know what I'm supposed to this dude's talking to me who's who's my god this dude just started singing that is awesome that is so cool like I never even like seriously that's pretty funny um now I'm in the Air Force, uh, if I have never mentioned that before, it's not really promoted anywhere, but I, I can uh, I can say that that's not really what it's about, but, you know, these guys, I guess, are the, the Iron Legion, you know, and I guess if I was, if I was in a, the Blood Legion territory or whatever, I'd probably promote myself if I was them too, so that's pretty funny, but anyway, um, like I said, um, let me know in the comments box below how I can make these videos better for y'all, so anyway, I appreciate it. Please subscribe, like, and y'all have a nice night, or day, or whatever it is there. Thanks, bye.